Change for Balance Productions.com or no.com. <laughs> so, guys, um, we just saw a little bit of the video here, the trailer for Equine Destiny. Uh, tell me, how many horses do you think have been saved since making that documentary that you guys know of or you're directly involved with? You know, through the film, I mean, there is, uh, you know, about 12, 15 horses that we are actually on the rescue. That you know, we, our cameras you've, were there. You've gone out. Yeah, we were there on the rescue. We were, you know, with some awesome people: Marlene Dodge, Shirley Puga, and uh, Mariana Tosca, which are some some outstanding women. Incredible. Um, who are working really hard to do this amazing work. Um, but you know, the organizations that we worked with have saved hundreds of horses. Um, but the real deal is establish the awareness, shine the light, so that change can take place, and this can no longer be swept under the rug. I mean, if you go outside right now. And I ask 10 people, did you know 100,000 healthy American horses are slaughtered every year to support a billion dollar industry overseas? I bet you eight of them would say they had no clue. So step one is the awareness, step two is the solutions. Equine Destiny Trust is one of those solutions. The goal is to create a perpetual endowment. If you have half a billion dollars and you can contribute to these horse rescues and you can put breeding um, you know, guidelines and, and restrictions in place and all these different things, that's how you can solve the issue. I mean, it comes down to money. So we want to create the vehicles for that change to take place, but we can't do it by ourselves. Right. And yeah. I don't have, you know, that much money to give you guys. So right now, well, let's just create awareness and get your yeah. name out there so that people can maybe $5 helps if they could donate to your sure. charity. Go or, volunteer time. Exactly. You know, at a rescue. I mean, these are solutions that we, we cover at the end of the film. Oh, excellent. Um, well, let's try to... Um, market that film for you guys and get it out there see what we can do now next i want to move on to the next documentary you're making this kind of hits home a little bit because growing up in southern california you don't see too many homeless children but when i moved to la i see more and more homeless on the streets yeah. now i'm back in orange county let's talk about this gen y movie tell me about it Absolutely. Yeah. So me personally, I've been working with homeless youth in Orange County for uh, about 10 months now. And many people don't know, especially due to the media stigmas of shows like the OC and Laguna Beach, there's over 22,000 homeless kids living right now in Orange County. And that's Did you say 22,000, thousand, not hundred, 22,000. And these are, and these aren't even, these are the kids enrolled in K through 12. So there's probably much more than that who aren't even enrolled in school. Um, and in Orange County, you know, you don't see them very often because the kids I work with, you know, if they get harassed by the police and they'll get sent to another city because they don't want perfect Orange County looking like that. Um, so really how it got, st I started working with these kids, um, organization that I work with, Stand Up For Kids, which is a great organization that works all over the country with homeless youth. They approached me, said, we want to make a documentary on this. And I said, wow, that's great. I met some of the kids and instantly I started working with them. Um, so after that, Ten months passed, and we were approached by um, Rich German, who's a life coach and best-selling author, and Christine Brooke, who both of them are the executive producers, and they said, we want to make a documentary about this. And we did a lot of research, and no high production value, in-depth, entertaining documentary has ever been covered on this issue. That's so surprising, because homelessness is such a, it, it is such a problem. Absolutely, and it's a lot of problems. It's out of sight, out of mind. Right. And um, that's we what... We all know about... The, everybody. Absolutely. We've all seen a homeless person on the street. Definitely. So we know that, that it is out there. But we're, we never see children or we're unaware. Absolutely. And there's stigmas associated with being homeless, you know? Um, you know, people will walk by young kids saying, oh, they want to be there. Or they're drug addicts. Or they're criminals. And when we make these associations with young people cho choosing to live like that, and we don't have to think about it. They chose that. I don't have to worry about it. But that's just not true. Um, you know, kids come from physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse, um, broken families, kicked out of their house. And what I always say, it's not about ability because all kids have 
the same ability and potential to do amazing things. It's about opportunity. Now, we came from families, you know, with good families and um, had the opportunity to go to college and travel. And that could have been a situation of circumstance. Do you think, too, that for kids, you said opportunity, but do you think they have to be willing? Like, opportunity meets willingness? Because what if they're not willing? Well, that, that's true. I mean, you know, with the kids we work with, that I work with, there has to be goals. They have to meet us halfway. We're not going to break our backs and help okay. them if they're not meeting us. And we set goals for them. These and are your goals for the week. If you don't meet them or they don't show up or do whatever, then our resources... And to me, it sounds like if they have a goal, then that actually means somebody's, you know, a part of their life. That, you know what, you set a goal, I'm going to be there too to help you attain it or to see that you Absolutely. Got there. And, you know, the kids so, I work with, sorry to cut you off, okay. I mean, it's, it's amazing to hear these kids, their parents telling them, you're worthless, you're just like your father, you're going to end up in jail. And that's it. You know, there's no support. So from a young age... This idea of them being not worth anything is ingrained in them. And that is almost um, a self-fulfilling prophecy that happens. And it's such a shame in a country like America that over 1.6 million kids are literally struggling for survival. And um, the government, you know, the foster system isn't the greatest thing. And there's a lot of flaws in it. So it's on us as the American public. And what we're com our company is about, too, is about involving the youth. Mm -hmm. And because... A country is going to only be successful is in um, how strong the youth of the, that country is. So that's one of our big goals is empowering the youth, and that's what this documentary will be about, shining a light on the problem, focusing on solutions, and changing the situation. Very nice. So now, have you begun production on this? We produced a, a little teaser mm -hmm. in order. I mean, again, we're not really trying to nickel and dime this. We want to do a super good job and. What differentiates us from other production companies or, you know, crews or whatever is that we put a philanthropic cause behind it. So our goal is to create a Senate, um, a model that can be recreated in any part of the United States with psychologists, with, you know, art programs, with uh, equine therapy like we learned from our last project. Different things to help these kids get grounded in the self-confidence that they have, that it's just it's hidden. They have it. It's inside of them. You know, bring that out of them. Have that bright light shine out from them. So with this formula, you know, we we can create this these centers all over the United States. That's the goal. You know, like and we we like to shoot past the moon. You know, we like to shoot the top of the universe. You know, like we we, we want to do things big in order to do them right. Um, so we we produced the teaser trailer, and that's on GenYMovie.com, also on YouTube, uh, YouTube.com/slash GenYMovie. Twitter, Excellent. at Genuine Movie. Excellent. But um, yeah, so we're still in the, in the development stage. We're going after sponsors, and um, we're really looking for different people to collaborate with because it's not about competition. It's about collaboration. So we are looking for all of the players that we're going to be playing with. And um, we've had a great response so far. We've raised a significant amount of money so far. Um, and we're just putting the pieces in place to do the best job we possibly can. Now, are you going to focus just Orange County, or are you going to no. try to... We're going to go, go it's going to be all the over United the United States. States. Yeah. Absolutely. What are the, loca the lo locations? Yeah, the locations were um, from the research we've done with the, the highest population of homeless youth. So um, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon, uh, Texas. And we also want to go to Washington, D.C. And also because a couple new legislation programs have passed um, with the Obama administration. Oh. Um, so we would like to interview those people who are putting those programs into place mm -hmm. to see what their goals are. And um, we also would like to come visit them again a couple of years down the line and see how the progress it's made because, you know, it has to be addressed. And, you know, we're willing to do the work to do it. And we know a lot of people, if they have the opportunity to do it and are shown an easy way to help, we feel they will as well. So do you um, feel that some of this, uh, you said that there was some legislation being passed. Do you feel that that's going to help or hurt? Um, I mean, I think it can only help, but um, the truth is we're spending money all over the place where it should be really directed toward young people in need in this country. And, I mean, we're setting ourselves up for disaster if we don't take... These are This is the future of the country. If we don't take care of these kids, we're going to be in a far worse place than we are now. So it's got to be a complete systematic change. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, the plan that everything looks good on paper, always. Right. Question what will come out of it. Right. So from there, um, once you guys begin shooting, is it just going to be whatever happens? Or do you ha what do you, how are you, where are you going to play this out? We're still developing all the details, yeah. but um, Rich, Rich German, one of the executive producers that wants to dive in head first and spend some time with these kids on the streets and live on the streets with them. Um, but we're going to also do a comprehensive look at the situation, examine the numbers, and really our goal is to educate as well, you know, not just, you know, educate, entertain, and, and have people rise to action. Um, so, you know, the, the details are still being fine-tuned. Our treatment, we've written a treatment that is bound to change and evolve because the project has continued to grow, you know, far beyond what we thought it would be. And so it's it's still in, slightly in a development phase, um, but there are plenty of details we can share with anybody who's interested and they can reach out to us. And Excellent. Happy to do that. Now, you mentioned centers. Mm -hmm. Are those um, shelters or centers where the youth can go? Well, a little bit of both. I mean, there's some serious due diligence that needs to be done in order to calculate that accurately because we want to create a model, like I said, that can be recreated anywhere in the United States. This much land, this much, you know, mm -hmm. this many volunteers. This much. So, you know, and ultimately it does come down to how successful we are at raising the capital to make this happen. Um, if we get a lot of support, yeah, why not make it the most amazing shelter for these kids that we can create? In any city. Yeah. You can, they all know that they can go anywhere, kind of like the Salvation Army. Sure. Yeah, at the least, we can get them a place to shower up, clean up, uh, you know. Hot meal, maybe. Some meals. I mean, the, you know, whatever we can do, we will. Um, and we're only limited by the support that we get from the community at large, you know, the, the nationwide community. You're going to be like a Sandra Bullock. You know, we just need one person. Yeah. It, it really is. Yeah. You know, um, I really hope that that this movie takes off and you guys do get this documentary made. It's a wonderful cause. I just can't even begin. And it, you know, listening to you guys, it makes me want to go out and, and do good. Do it's the good. only way I can describe it. You know, listen, just think you guys are such a young age and to, you know, really see the world through a different view. Yeah. You know, that not a lot of people don't take a step back from their own everyday lives, you know, because it's just clockwork, yeah. you know. So, again, it is take a step back, look at what you can be done. It could be just as little as volunteering, mm -hmm. you know, one hour a week. Mm -hmm. What does that break down to, Right. you know, yeah. out of your busy schedule? So, really just trying to bring awareness. I love the fact that you guys do that and that, you know, that you're really for the, the community and for the better of the, the world and the planet. Sure. Yeah. We're all about collaborating. You know, anybody who wants to collaborate, we encourage them to reach out to us. Check us out, changeforviolence.com. Um, get in touch with us. We respond to everybody who contacts us. You know? Excellent. And let's change the world. So changeforviolence.com. We have Equine, Destiny. Destiny, and we also have Jen Y W H Y movie movie dot movie. com. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook. We're all over it. And I, is MySpace still around? We have a MySpace. Yeah, I mean. But I'm kind of scared to check it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we've got YouTube videos that you can watch trailers on yeah. both. All our videos are on YouTube. Excellent. And so what we just Google in. YouTube.com slash change for balance. Perfect. And also Gen Y and movie, yeah. Equine Destiny. Well, guys, it's been so great having you on the show. Thank you. I can't wait to uh, maybe interview you next year and see what's going on. Uh, really, we really appreciate it. Oh, excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm Jamie Carson, and you're with Turning the Verge tonight, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.